is up guys Allie here with another video today we're doing something a little bit different we're going through the save file of this pokemon diamond game that i bought while i was at pokethon which if you don't know what pokethon is it is an awesome charity event where a bunch of pokemon streamers get together and we pretty much play pokemon for three days straight and raised like forty five thousand dollars for charity so while i was there um we actually checked out this cool little hole in the wall retro game store and i may or may not have picked up a copy of pokemon diamond because i did not own diamond i have pearl i have platinum and it was the only one i was missing so normally when i buy used pokemon games it's cool to see like what pokemon you get on the save sometimes you don't get anything sometimes you get a bunch of stuff so i wanted to show you guys what i got on this game because it's kind of crazy to be honest i'm not just saying that because clickbait hype whatever but this is pretty cool um so let's just get started shall we so here we go title screen I love the Gen 4 intro. So first things first, take a look at the time played and the Pokedex. Those are the first two things that you should notice, which is kind of crazy. So when I first opened it, I was like, huh, that's that's a thing. So obviously, like, I've played a little bit of it. I went and explored through the boxes, but I guess I'll just show you guys um, and sort of just explain it. So first, I'll go to the trainer card. I feel like that's the first thing we should look at. So money is maxed out. Pokedex is full. I know someone's going to say this before I get to it. Yes, I'm pretty sure this person used an action replay. <laughs> so yeah, note the playtime is a pretty decent amount of playtime. Full decks, max money. Adventure started on July 5th, 2007. So the funny thing is, so I guess for context, for anyone that doesn't know, I like K-pop, and K-pop only really, within the past couple years, has gotten really popular within the U.S., so with that context, their freaking trainer card and some of their Pokemon, which we'll get to, have that have K-pop related names, uh, I Heart Top, he's a K-pop singer in Big Bang, so this girl, whoever she is, Kisa, was like an OG OG fan. So I guess I'll show you guys my party because I did put some of the Pokemon into my party. So obviously we got Raichu. I appreciate this OT name, Terra. Um, but this one is from Hoenn, which is cool because my original Raichu is from Emerald or from Hoenn. So it's kind of cool to see that in this game. And I, no, I don't plan on transferring any of this stuff back up um, into the newer games because I already have all these Pokemon from when I played through Gen 4. So... We got Raichu, very excited about that. We got Misha, the Luxray, which I love Luxray, so that's why I got Luxray in my party. Got Arcanine, I love Arcanine. This is from Vincent, who is also from Hoenn. Yeah, so this is where it starts to get crazy. Um, so Taeyong, I think that's another Big Bang member. Uh, this is obviously hacked, <laughs> obviously, but like, as someone that played Diamond and Pearl when it came out, I also had an action replay and did stuff like this when I was a kid, so like, I kind of like seeing this, like it's, it brings back the memories. And then we got Cresselia, I put Cresselia in my party just because I like Cresselia. And then this Rayquaza, so this Rayquaza is from Terra, whoever that is, shout out to Terra. But um, I guess spoilers, this Rayquaza and the Luxray were used for this person's Hall of Fame, which we will go through. Um, so I wanted to put them on my party because I like, I like both of those Pokemon and it's kind of cool. Like, I feel like, like, I am not deleting the save. I would feel so bad if I did. Like, I feel like I have the responsibility to, like, keep playing this game and, like, cherish this person's Pokemon because clearly they put in a lot of effort into it. Y you guys will see, but a lot of the Pokemon that is in this person's game, I mean, not only do they have a bunch of hacked Pokemon, but a lot of them are transferred from like Gen 3, which is really, really cool. So I might I might trade some of these to my heart gold save, but so let's start at I guess I'm kind of spoiling it, but yeah, we'll, we'll give you a, we'll give you a quick glance. Let me start at the first box. So I think it is okay. So this is the first box that this person has. So some of the stuff that we're gonna look at first isn't super exciting. I'm kind of just gonna glance through it none of these are all just like normal pokemon nothing super super crazy 
But as we get later into the box, oh, there's our first shiny. Well, I already showed you the shiny ho, -Oh, but we got a shiny deli bird in a master ball. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, it's going to get crazier as we go through the boxes. So that's kind of why I'm just going through these super fast right now. Also, another K-pop name. <laughs> I, I can appreciate that. Whoever this chick was was like an OG K-pop fan back when this game came out, which is like 2007, 2006. Anyway, continuing on. Next box. Gar level 2 Garchomp. Yeah, notice some of the levels of these Pokemon, especially like the fully evolved ones that are like ridiculous. So here's actually this person's starter. They picked Infernape. Uh, can't say that would be my own choice. Uh, Infernape's actually my least favorite of the Sinnoh starters, but you know, no hate here. Um, so there's that box. And then, do, 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 do. oh, there's another shiny, shiny Jigglypuff. I think shiny Jigglypuff is really pretty. So this person did the classic, you know, hack in a bunch of Master Ball strat and hack in shinies, which, you know, you know, I've definitely done that before back in the day as a kid, so. I just think it's funny, like this, I feel like I'm looking back on like almost my own game. Here's another one. Shiny Rayquaza, another K-pop name. Uh, yeah, pretty cool that there's a Shiny Rayquaza in this though. So let us continue. Mime Jr. Normally I would not like Mime Jr. But for some reason in Gen 4, I got really attached to Mime Jr. For some reason. <laughs> Ooh, there's another Shiny. Miss Magius, Miss Magius. I don't know how you say it. This one was not caught in a Master Ball. Maybe this one's actually legit. I have no idea. Nor do I really care, honestly. <laughs> oh, we got another shiny, shiny Metacham in the Master Ball. I guess I should explain for people that don't know. With like action replays in Game Sharks, you can force an encounter in pretty much any area. So like, you know, I could put in a code that would be like, all wild encounters would be a shiny Metacham, right? Or it'd be Metacham and then I would apply a shiny code. Um, and then you can hack in a bunch of Master Balls, so then you can actually catch it. I did this in Gen 4, and... Yeah, no, just Gen 4. I did this in Gen 4 when I had my game. I had an action replay, and in Gen 2 and Gen 1, I have a Game Shark still. I would hack in a bunch of Master Balls, and then be like, make this encounter shiny, and make it this specific Pokemon. <laughs> can we talk about... Can we talk about how cute Miltank looks? It's so cute. Ooh, shiny Oddish. That's adorable. I love shiny Oddish. It's so green. Green's one of my favorite colors, so. Moving on. Do, 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 do. Shiny Roserade. Hello. Shiny Ponyta. I miss sprites. I, I really do. Like, don't get me wrong. The new 3D models look like super clean. This is totally legit, by the way. Um, <laughs> I think the new models look clean, but like, there's something about the sprites that just like bring it back, you know? So that's just a spooky plate. That's not actually shiny. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, shiny Pachirisu. It's so cute. Oh my god. I love shiny Pachirisu. So let us continue. So yeah, this person has a ton of Pokemon. I wouldn't actually be surprised if they completed their decks legit. Just because it seems like they traded a lot between Gen 3 and Gen 4. Shiny Sea King. Um, that's a really weird one to have shiny. But you know what? I'm not going to judge you. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think we're getting, starting to get to some of the spicy stuff. So, here's something that's funny. I didn't realize this was a bad egg until I put it into my party and tried to hatch it. And then I freaked out and I resetted my game. So... There's a bad egg, so that's fun. Porion, awesome sprite. Shiny Wurmple, a classic. Actually, I'm curious. I should look at its summary. <gasps> I never tried that before. Oh my god, that was terrifying. <laughs> okay, remind me to never do that again. <laughs> Back to what we were doing. It's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> Note to self, don't do that again. So yeah, there wasn't anything super exciting in here besides the Wurmple. Shiny Gyarados, 
not that exciting to be completely honest. Shiny Buizel, however, looks super cute. I love this shiny. It's beautiful. Ooh, this Blaziken's neat. I assume this is traded over from Gen 3. Karen, whoever Karen is. That's pr I, it's so cool seeing like somebody else's like Pokemon history, I guess, if that makes sense. Like this is somebody's little Torchic that they they leveled up all the way to 63 and then transferred it up. So it's it's wholesome. Shiny Chatot, which is pretty neato. Shiny Ariados, which looks awesome. These sprites are so clean. Shiny Gloom, which Gloom is one of my favorite Gem Mode Pokemon. So we love seeing Shiny Gloom. Shiny Bronzor and Shiny Blueberry. It's pretty cool. Obviously, again, they're all hacked, but it's still fun to see because it's not like it's affecting anybody, you know? Okay, let's see. What else do we got? Also to note, if you see like all of these empty box spaces, based on this person's Hall of Fame, which we're gonna go into, it seems like they probably traded a lot of their stuff to another game. Or not a lot, but some of their like high level Pokemon to another game. Y you'll see when we get to the Hall of Fame because some Pokemon are missing. Shiny Stunky, which I didn't realize Shiny Stunky was pink. I've never really shiny hunted for Stunky, I don't think, so. Shiny Pelipper, which like the colors on him look really, really good. It's so weird seeing the models compared to the sprites because I feel like the sprites are a lot cleaner, you know? And then random, another shiny Gyarados for some reason. I think, wait, oh, uh, I was about to say this one looks legit because it's a Pokeball, but then look at the ID number and... January 0, 2000. Apparently met at level zero. Okay. That, that, that's a thing. Imagine if the person that owned this game watches your Twitch or YouTube and comes across your stream. Dude, seriously, I would like, I would actually maybe put out like a PSA, be like, hey, if you lived in like California and your in-game name was Kisa and you hacked a bunch of Pokemon and like were a K-pop fan, maybe this is you, you know? But that, that would be kind of neat. I, I, I did think about that for a second. Oh, the Jurafrig shiny, I didn't even notice that. It's so hard to tell. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. Okay, so here's the spicy box. I don't think this Shinx was anything, no. Okay, so here, here's the spicy box. Level three Lugia, Absol, Moltres, Shiny Moltres, Zapdos, Shiny Zapdos, Jirachi, Articuno, Shiny Raikou, uh, is that Shiny Articuno? Yes. Random Trapinch, just chillin'. Shiny Jirachi, Mewtwo, Shiny Mewtwo, Mew, Shiny Fion, Shiny Shaman, normal Shaman, uh, not shiny Kyogre, uh, normal Palkia? No, wait. Normal Palkia, shiny Palkia, Manaphy, Eevee, Happy Eeny, shiny Mew, and shiny Latias. Yeah, this is kind of stacked. A little bit. Just a little bit. And then continuing, Entei. Oh, wait, that's not shiny Entei, right? No. Okay, yeah. Two normal Entei's. ho -O. Another K-pop name. We got Dialga. Skarmory, Raikou, Deoxys, Latias, Shiny Entei, Suicune, Shiny Suicune, Shiny Suicune again, Celebi, Shiny Darkrai, Shiny Regigigas, Norma Regigigas, Shiny Heatran? I didn't even realize that before. Oh my god. What the heck? Shiny Dialga, Shiny Kyogre, and Shiny Giratina. <laughs> Continuing on, Shiny Uxie. Or not, that's not a shiny Uxie, it just has a star marking. Azelf. I used to call it Azlef as a kid, because I couldn't read. Shiny Azelf. Shiny Mesprit. Boring. Reg- Is that shiny? No. No, okay, those aren't shiny. Uh, Frostlass. Ditto. Shiny Groudon. Shiny Mime Jr. Shiny Entei. Taeon, which I appreciate, because she's like my ultimate bias. And a shiny Uxie. So yeah, this person's boxes are like stacked. Shiny Eevee. Ivysaur, Dratini, Turtwig, Chikorita, Pikachu, Charizard, Aeron, Blastoise, Piplup, Totodile, Pelipper, Squirtle, Pikachu. So yeah, that's all of this person's boxes. I guess I'll go through their Hall of Fame next. So we're gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna like kind of scroll through this a little fast because they do use a lot of the same teams. But notice, Hall of Fame, August 26, 2007. So we got Graystripe the Rayquaza. So this is like their OG team. Like this gives me the feels and like, cause it's like, I feel like I've been entrusted with somebody's like 
their their childhood Pokemon Diamond save. Here we go. Hall of Fame, August 26, 2007. Gray Stripe the Rayquaza. Don't know why he was named that, but whatever. Fireheart the Subtile, which is not on this game anymore. Not Bob the Infernate. Raptor the Star Raptor. Misha the Luxray. And Lucario the Lucario. Yeah. So September 8th, 2007, pretty much the same team. I think that's the same Gallade in the box. September 16th, 2007. September 17th, 2007. September 18th, 2007. October 1st, 2007. October 2nd, 2007. October 3rd, note the Quilava and Bayleaf, which are no longer on this game anymore, which makes me sad. Uh, shiny Roserade, Salamence, Shiny Rayquaza, November 10th, May 21st, 2008. So that's like the first kind of like lapse <laughs> of this person trying to do the E4. I don't think that Flygon is on this save anymore, which kind of sucks. Another K-pop name. And that Typhlosion is not on this game anymore, which makes me sad because I like Typhlosion. May 22nd, May 23rd, December 6th. 2008, December 9th, like this person was going ham grinding through the E4, I assume for money. May 19th, 2009, so that's kind of like the first big gap. And then April 9th, 2010, August 16th, 2010, August 26th, 2007, oh wait, no, that's the beginning. So 2010 was the last time this person beat the E4, and some of their caught Pokemon, their last couple ones were from 2010, it seems like. So really quick, I'll show you guys this person's items too. Because it's kind of crazy. Also, I do need to check the daycare. I haven't done that yet at all. So yeah, I'll just kind of scroll through these. There's a lot. Like, there's a lot, a lot. Like, this person literally gave themselves everything ever. Like, I don't even know how far down this list goes. I'm, I'm just going to scroll through. All of the rare candies. Like, the thing is that's cool with this save is, like, I can go do, like, whatever I want. And, like, I feel like that'll, it'll be so fun to play through this save. Like, I don't want to delete, like, I, I, I feel so invested in this save file. Because clearly somebody, though, you know, they did use an action replay. I don't personally care. Like, I used, I did that as a kid. But I feel so much more invested in it. We scrolling. We scrolling. Oh. We scrolling. We scrolling. Oh my god, there's so many. And like, all of these. And then key items. I think that's everything I can check in this game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is pretty cool, because it's not every, you know... it's. I feel like it's once in a blue moon you get a used Pokemon game that has a really good save. But, yeah. So, I hope you guys like the video. I'm going to be playing Diamond on stream at some point in the near future so if you want to watch that check out my stream twitch.tv slash all the links are in the description anyway peace out my dudes bye